This month's show is dedicated to the 2018 FEI Awards Gala presented by Longines, which was held at the prestigious Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Bahrain earlier this month. The five awards which celebrated the grooms, riders and organisations who excel within equestrian sport were decided by almost 100,000 public votes and an expert judging panel. Hosting the event this year for the first time was Paralympic gold medalist Natasha Baker and young dressage ace Juan Matute Guimon. It's such an honour to be hosting the FEI Awards tonight. I am so, so excited. Um, it was a bit of an unexpected phone call, but I'm really looking forward to presenting with Juan. So we're in beautiful Bahrain. It is so, so gorgeous. It's nice to be away from the cold weather in the UK. We were in a lovely ballroom. We went to see it earlier today, and it's going to be really stunning. The butterflies are starting to come alive. I think it's a very special moment. Uh, the hard work has already been done by the athletes and now it's up to us to uh, you know, celebrate and enjoy with them this uh, successful evening. The FBI Awards are so, so important and I think even more so this year, you know, 2018 we've had the World Equestrian Games so it's a massive celebration of everybody's achievements, um, you know, especially for the grooms that kind of go a little bit unnoticed. And then of course with the solidarity and the against all odds, really to you know, show off to the world and give them a great platform to really boost their, their publicity and really send their message out across to the whole of the equestrian world. This is not uh, something typical in uh, my routine or in my, my calendar. This is my first time hosting a prestigious event like this one, so I'm looking forward to uh, yeah, sharing the stage with my co-host Natasha, Natasha Baker and uh, enjoying the evening. I'm definitely looking forward to the Longines Rising Star Award, especially because a few years ago I was nominated myself and uh, I have a good friend nominated for this award this year, Esme Donkers from the Netherlands. She's a dressage rider and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I will be seeing her this evening. We've had some amazing past award winners with Sonka Rothenberger and, and Harry Allen from last year. I mean, Sonka at the Europeans last year was just absolutely phenomenal. So it's great you know, to see so many young, Sonka talented people that could potentially be our future stars. I'm really, really looking forward to the uh, Fasoon Best Athlete Award. Uh, my friend Stinner is up for nomination in that and you know she's achieved amazing things. She's a huge inspiration um, in para dressage and she's a real role model so I've got my fingers crossed for her. I think it was a tough competition. A lot of candidates, a lot of nominees could have definitely won the award uh, but unfortunately uh, we all know that in competition only one can win and take the award home. So uh, it's going to be exciting uh, seeing who is going to be, you know, taking these awards home. As the sun set across the capital, Manama, more than 250 distinguished guests, including top sporting legends, National Federation representatives, FEI partners and stakeholders arrived at the Ritz Ballroom for an evening of celebration and entertainment. Good evening, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2018 FEI Awards Gala presented by Longines. The first accolade of the night was the Longines Rising Star Award presented by Longines Vice President, Mr. Juan Carlos Capelli. A stunning timepiece would also be given to the winner. The four shortlisted nominees for this category were Austria's young hopeful Felix Koller, Dutch dressage sensation Esme Donkers, French eventer 20 year old Victor Levesque, and Zambia's teenage equine enthusiast Bunty Howard. Mr. Capelli, could you please reveal the winner of this year's Longines Rising Star? The winner of the Longines Rising Star Award 2018 is Victor Levesque. The Longines Rising Star Award recognizes an individual between the age of 14 and 21 who's demonstrated outstanding sporting talent 
many of the previous winners have gone on to achieve great things. I started riding when I was four. My parents are not professional equestrians, but uh, my father has always loved horses and riding. And for me, even thing is thrilling. I think is the best way to learn to respect your horse, but also to get a taste of working hard, maybe. And I think also it's the best way to enjoy yourself. 2018 was an amazing season for me two gold medals in the Young Rider European Championship in Fontainebleau, uh, but also a gold medal in the French Championship and a bronze medal in the Senior. So it was amazing and uh, yes, I hope 2019 will be the same, but I know it will be very difficult. Fontainebleau was an amazing day, a lot of emotion obviously, but mostly uh, pleasure, pleasure in riding my horse Funambul pleasure shared with the French team, with my family. Um, yes, I think uh, we train every day for these moments. Uh, they are unique, so when they appear, we have to enjoy uh, as much as we can. My parents, my family, my teams are so important for me. I think in sports, you have to be humble, especially with ours. If I can do what I enjoy every day, if I can combine my studies, my passion, but also if I can have all of these results in competition, is thanks to my team. Without them, I couldn't uh, do anything and I couldn't succeed. For the future, my main goal is the Olympic Games, maybe in Paris, but I know it, uh, the road is very long and that's my dream. To win the Longing Rising Star Award is amazing. <laughs> I never thought that I will uh, win this uh, award. Uh, thanks to Longines and the FEI for putting the young generation in the front of the, of the scene. Thanks you to everyone who have voted for me. It's an amazing award uh, for me obviously, but also for the French team and for eventing. I hope we will share other exciting moments together and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Longines Rising Star winner Victor Levesque and Mr. Juan Carlos Capelli. Today it's a very special day for me, it's an amazing evening. Um, I'm sure that I will uh, never forget uh, this night, so thanks to everybody, uh, it's amazing and I'm very happy. My dream is the Olympic Games, maybe in Paris or maybe uh, in uh, other Olympics, but uh, I don't know, we will see. And just for me, the most important is to take pleasure with my horse and to be patient. FEI Bureau members John McEwen and Hanfred Haring were then invited to the stage to present the Best Groom Award. Four grooms were in the running for this accolade. First up, Lucy Miles, groom to New Zealand's John L and Tim Price. Longines World No. 1 Harry Smolder's right-hand man, Alex Tyler Morris. Groom to one of America's leading riders, McLean Ward, Lee McKeever. And Steffi Vigard, head groom for the most successful dressage rider of all time, Isabel Vert. Will you please reveal the winner of the 2018 okay, Best sorry, Groom? Sorry. The winner of the Best Groom Award is... Lee McKeever. The award recognises the groom's hard work and dedication that goes on behind the scenes. It's never been a job to me, it's just a way of life. He knows the horses better than anybody. Um, he knows how to have their conditioning, their health, how to deal with injuries, prevent injuries. Um, there has never been a moment where I know, where I doubted that my horses were in the best of care, uh, the best preparation to compete. My relationship with Claim evolved over just starting to work there, spending a lot of time. Uh, we started traveling everywhere together. We, it was more like brothers. We both kind of grew up together, and it's gone into a good partnership now. Most memorable moments of 2018 would probably be the WEC, uh, the team gold, and the individual fourth, and I'd say winning this award. 
there's been a lot of ups and some of the downs, and you just got to ride it through, and you can't doubt your program, you've just got to stay true to it. And luck plays a big part in this sport. I mean, there's been so many moments with so many great horses. I mean, just to be a part of their lives is a huge thing. Winning this award for me is just a, a great honor to have everybody's votes. I mean, it was a vote more than just being picked, so that was huge for me. It's great to see also how he, uh, over the years, has become really a mentor to a million other grooms, uh, as well as barn managers and riders. Um, you know, you see a constant flow when we're at events of people coming to ask Lee, what do I do for this? How do I handle that? Um, and it just shows the respect level throughout the entire sport um, that, that Lee has, and it's all been earned through a lot of hard work. Huge congratulations, Lee, and all of the best for the next 30 years. Oh, I just feel so honored. It's just a huge compliment to be voted by the public, friends, peers. It's huge, I mean, just to be acknowledged for just a lifetime goal. I mean, it's, it's good.